One of the biggest questions that is still unanswered from Saturday's brutal attack by Hamas was how they were able to pull off such a coordinated surprise assault. Tonight, we are learning more about the apparent intelligence failures as Axios is reporting that Israeli security chiefs didn't put the border on high alert despite picking up on signs of irregular activity among Hamas operatives in Gaza the night before. Joining me now is Barack Ravid, who broke this story. And Barack, obviously you have been speaking to sources. You've learned that the day before this attack, there were these signs that seemed to suggest Hamas could have been preparing for an attack. What have you learned? Good evening, Caitlin. Well, uh, some sometime on Friday evening or Friday afternoon, Israeli intelligence started picking up on, you know, small signs that each of them alone uh, doesn't really show anything. Like when you put all of them together, you start getting this very uh, worrying picture of Hamas maybe thinking of doing something. And because of all of those signs, a series of high-level consultations uh, uh, took place, some of it uh, on Friday night, several hours, four or five hours before the uh, Hamas attack. And those consultations were, I mean, the IDF chief of staff, General Halevi, was on the consultation, uh, the head of the military intelligence, the head of the Southern Command, the head of the Shin Bet security agency. So all the top security officials in the country were on those uh, uh, conference calls. And the, uh, the dilemma was whether this is a real preparation for an attack or an exercise. And there, was, there were several proposals to put the, uh, the border, all the uh, IDF forces on the border on high alert. And at the end, the decision was not to do it and wait for the morning to see what happens. Several hours later, the attack took place. I mean, if these were high level consultations, I mean, what is the prime minister's office said about all of this? Well, the main question was whether someone uh, updated the, the prime minister or the minister of defense. And the truth is, nobody did. Uh, wow. Netanyahu, according to his office, and I have to say, I checked it with several sources, and I think that they're not lying when they're saying it, that Netanyahu got his update at 6.29 a.m. when the rockets were, uh, when Hamas started firing rockets and mortar shells at those villages uh, near the border. Uh, and until then, he didn't even know that there was this issue, that there was this uh, uh, intelligence signs that something might be uh, happening. But, you know, at 629, it was already too late. That 